Hello again, YouTubers, I'm at SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel. Today is June 3rd, 2021, and it is time for more mail day. Yeah, so we've got another SpongeBob Nintendo DS game in the mail. I was expecting this to come later in the week, but it just came today. So um, yeah, two days in a row with mail day videos. So uh, first up, I do want to just cut through this and I'll tell you guys where I got this. So I got this off eBay. Um, I paid $10 for the game and then $10 for shipping. So it's actually kind of pricey, but um, this is the very last um, SpongeBob DS title that I am planning on getting for the collection. So I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna get it and get it over, done and over with, right? So this came in from Desert Hot Springs, California. I ordered it before I actually ordered uh, the two games that I showed in yesterday's video. And surprisingly, this came like later so yeah um turns out it's actually sealed this way so you know what i have to cut through this so uh, again there's only one game inside this i'm just gonna cut this off camera just so i don't knock the camera down and i put, bought it on ebay so yeah now with this i would have pretty much one of every title um one of every spongebob video game title which is really good because um, that's just adding the collection, right? So as you can see here, we have the game in here. It is none other than SpongeBob versus the big one, Beach Party Cook-Off. As you can see, the sticker is not in the best shape. Case-wise, lots of scratches on this side of the case of the plastic. And then um, spine, this is what it looks like, SpongeBob versus the big one, Beach Party Cook-Off. And then on the back, it says, Become the ultimate fry cook. Help Spongebob win the beach party cook-off. Play as Spongebob and help him cook over 100 recipes. Manage the Krusty Krab restaurant and train an outrageous kitchen staff of Plankton's cousins. So yeah, this game was a very random game. It came out uh, in spring of 2009. And... Um, I never really understood the, the point of this. I guess this game kind of does carry over. Whoa, look at how much dust just came out there. Um, yeah, so I do have to sanitize this before I actually put it in the console. There's like some grime on the cartridge, so that's pretty gross. But um, the manuals look pretty good, so I'm just gonna show it to you right now. So first up, we've got the um, Nintendo DS focus. Yep, Nintendo DS health and safety precautions booklet like we see in every other uh, DS game, including the two that I showed yesterday. And then of course, we've got the actual instruction booklet here. On the back, we've got an ad for playthq.com. I remember going to this website back in the day. Um, yeah, and also the manual is in very good condition. So unlike the cartridge, um, this is a good one. All right, so I'm just gonna flip through this real quick. You guys can pause wherever you want and read, especially if you've never seen this before. But so, um, yeah, here we have getting started. Uh, just some stock footage. Look at that. SpongeBob has a PNG of a, or, or some stock footage of a Krabby Patty stuffed in his mouth. Very weird. All right, then we also have controls. Um, introduction, so this is the story. Uh, okay, so it brings in Jack Kahuna Laguna from the actual episode, and he's, it says, he is throwing a beat, a big beach party and the Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket want to cook for it. So Jack decides to have a contest between the two restaurants. So sort of, this is like a after the episode kind of thing, you know. I mean, you guys probably remember what happened in the episode, but this seems to be something that happens after the episode actually ends. Main menu, so we've got all the uh, information over there. And then management, wait, did I miss something? No. So management menu, okay, interesting, multiplayer, notes, and warranty and service info. All right, so that is the metal. Now I will go sanitize the cartridge and I'll show you guys what it looks like on my N Nintendo 2DS. Yes. Right, so I've managed to sanitize the cartridge. Here it is, um, game and software copyright 2009. That is the code for the um, cartridge on the back there. So yeah, um, let's pop it into the Nintendo DS right now. First, I do need to switch on the volume. So let's see if there's any like cool sounds. Nope, okay, so it just says SpongeBob versus TBO, Beach Party Cook-Off, THQ Inc. Let's open this up. 
Now, I'm wondering if the music here is reused, like, you know, in True Force Square. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Oh, this is my favorite part of the game. The legal. Oh, yeah, the legal part. I was not expecting that, but okay. Wow, that's pretty nice. Alright, so that is the uh, main, or the start page theme, that's pretty cool, it's basically a remix of the Spongebob theme. Um, and then let's select this, oh there you go. Alright, the cookbook is now unlocked, okay. Right, so it seems like someone actually just played this for a couple minutes and then just stopped playing it. This is the cookbook. Oh! Oh, and there's like a, a picture of Employee of the Month there, you know, the PC game. That's really, really cool. Um, then we've also got... I have no idea what this is, but it seems like the ways in which you can cook something. Okay, and then uh, we've also got... what's this? So this is the... oh, this is the cookbook, right. Then this here is... Oh, so you can decorate the Krusty Krab as well. Right, so there's like flooring, um, can I move this? Nope. Alright, I can't really do anything yet. But yeah, and then of course the uh, wrench here is just the settings. Okay, so I think that's all good. Now let's just quickly take a look at what gameplay is like on this thing. I've never played this game before, so I really have no idea uh, how this works. Um, it doesn't see So far it doesn't seem like a uh, crusty cook-off style. All right, where's the head chef around here? That'd be me, sir. Okay, so Gene Scallop is the judge here. You will have between seven and nine customers to shift, so get ready to go. Touch to continue. That's actually pretty surprising. I was not expecting like um, the there, there to be voice acting in this game. So very unusual. So this game seems like a very low budget, low, well, not low budget, but it seems very simplistic as opposed to like Atlantis Square Panthers or True Force Square. And um, it turns out that this one has a voice acting, but those two don't, strangely enough. So yeah, very interesting. Right, flick when the meter is... There we go. Right, so it's basically just a cooking game. Um, not my cup of tea, honestly, but yeah, if you guys like cooking games like these, um, this game is a very interesting one, I gotta say. What do I do? Oh, flick. Okay, so we're still gonna flick this thing four times. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> yep, I'm a terrible cook. And it also seems like the models that are used in this game are actually from maybe the console games. I mean, that's what it seems like. Because you, you can see here, the models are very much more developed and detailed than if you were to compare this with Atlantis Square Pantis or True for Square. So yeah, it's actually very interesting. I was never expecting this game to be like this. And it's fat. I'm, not, I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Oh, tap the targets to pound. go. I'm pretty sure this would be better if you use the stylus, but yeah, so 
yeah, that's how it works. And then, what? What am I supposed to do? Oh, paint. Trace along the paths to paint. Okay, so you gotta, what? What? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. Garnish. Tap the targets to garnish. Perfect. And also the counter here says three, so I'm not sure what that stands for. Perhaps how many customers you have left. Oh, okay, so we gotta put it on a plate. There we go. Stack as well. Yep, so it's just a memory game, essentially. And the counter is down to one, so we're almost done with this level. Definitely getting a hold of this, but yeah. And bad. <laughs> Just when I said I was getting a hold of this. Alright, so let's see our score here. We've got one bad, one okay, and five perfect. So quality bonus, okay. Great, blah blah blah. Okay, shift. A new recipe is avail available for purchase. Okay, let's go take a look before we end up the video. Mutt pie. Oh, interesting. Alright, so yeah, that's basically Spongebob Beach Party Cook-Off. Um, oh, workers gain some experience too. Oh. Kind of random though, sometimes it, some lines don't have voice acting and then the rest do, so yeah. But very interesting, I was not expecting Spongebob Krusty Cook-Off, not Krusty Cook-Off, what I keep thinking of Krusty Cook-Off, Beach Party Cook-Off. Um, yeah, I was not expecting it to be like this. But yeah, um, good luck at this game. Have you played this game before? Comment box below what you think about it. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, or keep right here on Autumn of Spongebob 101. That's all for this one. And yeah, um, if you have missed out our, on our Spongebob Moves in update video that came before this, make sure to go check it out. But yeah, that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next Spongebob video. Bye!